I was talking on the show yesterday, I was walking by the magazine rack in the grocery store, and on the cover of every soap opera magazine, is a guy with a patch. He is one of the hottest stars of daytime television. I wish we had time to talk to you, but that applause is that we ran out of time. So thanks for coming. See you later. All right. No, no. Yeah. Welcome back. It's good to have you back here. Thank you were you. visiting your mom, huh? Yeah, I uh, stopped off in Dayton and visited my mom, and I drove here to Cleveland last night. Uh, it took me about three hours, 15 minutes in the that's, rain. That's pretty fast. Yeah, I was, I was cooking. That's good. I want to know what's going to happen on the show. Are you going to be able to save Benji from his evil father? That's pretty boring, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. Is yeah. It? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be able to save Benji from his evil father. The answer is yes. Do you know who his evil father is? The, the... <laughs> Stefano! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Are your lives in danger, Pat and Kayla? Oh, yes. Yeah? Yes. How, are, how are you going to avoid being hurt? Well, it's a strange thing because we're, we're stuck in this compound where Stefano lives, you know, this underground thing that he has. And uh, I don't know how we get out of there because the whole place is wired and bugged and the doors are all operated electronically. And it seems that when we need to get out or get out of a room or in or out, the, the electronic system is not working or something. You know, his lucky cameras you. aren't on. Yeah, lucky for us. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people ask when you and Kayla are going to have kids on the show. When's that going to happen or is it going to happen? Do you know? Yeah, it's going to happen. I don't, I don't know when exactly, but uh, that's, I guess that's the next step. Uh, lately, since the wedding, there hasn't been really a whole lot going on with us. Um, but uh, they promise new story is coming. And the other question, of course, is your sister. Are you ever going to come to her rescue? Uh, what's going on with her, anyway? You want to tell him? She's sleeping with Emilio. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Well, <clears throat> yeah, I guess I'm going to have to do something about that. Well, I never liked her husband anyway, so maybe... Uh... He's all right, though. He's all right. How do you like the way the story is going for you right now? You say it's been kind of a, a lull for it's you right now. It's been really bad. Yeah? <laughs> I have to be honest. It's been really, really bad. What and we've been very unhappy. Mary Beth and I drag around work and try to... We, you know, we just try to keep it together. It's, it's like trying to make something out of nothing is what our challenge is. It's, you feel like you're constantly pulling to bring it up. And uh, that's what we do every day. Do you have any chance to say anything to the writers or the people on the show about that? Is, well, you know, we had trouble because of the writer's strike, and uh, of course the ratings reached number one first time in 17 years during our wedding. Oh, yeah. And, and that, was during, that was during the writer's strike. So I don't see how that can, you know, the problems can be blamed on the writer's strike. Uh, the fact is, they made mistakes with the story, and uh, this is what we got. <laughs> yeah, my first question is, when you were going back into your childhood, are the kids your kids? Is the little boy your little, little boy? Little boy is my really? son Aaron. Yes. It, yeah, he plays. He plays me in flashbacks. And another thing, can I shake your hand? <laughs> it's up to Scott. I don't know. Uh, you know what? I unfortunately, I think about, I don't know, maybe four or five hundred people here want to do the same thing, and I think that by the time you did that, his hand and his mouth would be worn out. So, if you could bear with us here. I appreciate you asking. We have a lot of gifts for you here, too. Oh, boy. Why don't we, I'll collect a couple of things here. You have a... Oh, you got to have one of these. Oh, boy. Yeah. you got to have one of these. That's great. Should I get it? 
Yep, here we go here. Shall I, you know, the last time you Thank were on the you. show, we did this. I just kind of made the rounds. What do we have here? We got a rose and a bear. I'll just get a, a couple. Oh, what? That's nice. What is that? The dogs? Are these the dogs? Dogs, dogs. <laughs> what is this thing right here? A nasty morsel. Kind of looks like a Hershey's Kiss, huh? Does anybody? Oh, you have a rose. I don't know how you're going to be able to fit all this stuff on the plate. Would you like some more here? I'll get, yeah. I'll just get a big bag. And You know what? The dogs love these little animals. They, they... The dogs. You know how dogs love to chew faces off a of thing? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank oh. you very much. Let's see. Oh, now look at this. You've got to see this. This is good. Stephen Nichols holds the key to my to my. Ah. Ah, did you make that? That's wonderful. I have, I know you have just the spot for that. The dogs, I'm sure, will not Thank do anything you. No, with no, that. No, I'm going to put that up high so they can't get to it. Okay. Thank you. That's very nice. There you are. We'll Thank get to you. some more questions. Thank you. Everybody rock stuff. That's very nice. Yes. What, what made you go and do the movie Witchboard? What? They offered me the part. <laughs> I, I liked the story. It was a good... Uh, for what it was, you know, it was a horror film and it had a relationship between the characters, so I liked it. And we should talk about another project you have, Around the World in 80 Days. It comes up around Easter time on NBC. What's that going to be like and who's going to be in it with you? Well, it's a mini-series for NBC and it'll be on three nights during Easter week. Um, I play Jesse James and uh, it was a lot of fun. I got to work with Pierce Brosnan, Peter Ustinov, Eric Idle from the old Monty Python troupe, um, Julian Nixon. You know, a lot, lot of people, a lot of people doing cameos. I mean, big name actors doing cameos. It was a lot of fun. I have a feeling that when it gets around Easter time, we'll be talking about that, making sure people know when that's on. Exactly. Good. You know what? Thank We're going to take a little bit of a break right now. We'll be back with more of Stephen Nichols and Daryl Bell. We've got lots more coming up next in Big Show Place. So stick with us, please. Hi, this is Kim Scott. Welcome you, welcoming you back to Beachwood Place and more of AM Cleveland. Stephen Nichols, Daryl Bell, our guest this morning at Live from Beachwood Place. Something a lot of people probably don't know, you have a band. Yeah. And it's a blues band. It's called the One-Eyed Blues Band. <laughs> <laughs> My brother is the lead guitar player. We've been, uh, we've been together, I guess, about uh, four months now, playing all over San Diego and uh, all over the country, actually, when I go out on personal appearances, they sometimes uh, ask us to do music. So we've been having a lot of fun with it. That sounds fun for you. Yes. I wanted to ask you, you know how Shane plays a double role? Yeah. I have a twin sister, so I'm already a double. I wanted to know if you were ever interested in playing a double role, and also if you could say sweetness. <laughs> yeah. Well, sweetness, I'll tell you. Um, yes, I would be interested in playing a double role. I think it would be a lot of fun. I did play the double role for a short time when my alter ego came to me um, and visited me from the wherever I was, limbo somewhere. And that was a lot of fun. It's a lot of work, I'll tell you, because you have to learn both parts. And we've already got 30 to 50 pages, and you have to learn double that amount. And it's, uh, it's a lot of hours, too, to get the technical side of it done. Hi. I was wondering how you learn the sign language. Do you learn that little by little as you learn the script, or do you learn it all at once? Did you have a teacher? Yes, we have a teacher who's on the set with us every day. Her name is Peggy Reyna. She's wonderful. She works with Daryl, our little boy, who plays Benjamin. He is really deaf. Uh, we, learned, we took a crash course for about two weeks, uh, and then, as you say, we learned it day by day. Each day she would come in and go through the script with us. All right, let's get down to some uh, business here, Stephen. Heard it through the grapevine that you did sign a new contract for the show, is that right? <laughs> well, that's, that's possible. Yes? Yeah. That mean you're going to be on the show for a while longer? Well, I'll probably be around for a little while. But only if the story gets better. Ooh. So you better write those letters. Ah. You can write those letters to NBC and tell folks you tell want to them, see them. Tell them to get it straight. Yeah.